Welcome to a review of Finance 430 class September 17th, 2024. Today we learned about how to find the standard deviation of a portfolio um, and basically its volatility and risk, which was super fascinating because we learned how to take this giant formula and boil it down to um, an instance where it would be zero and when that would um, be the case. So right now, I'm just gonna do two examples um, that we did in class. The first one uh, will give us the answer zero. And then the second one, we're gonna plug in actual numbers that will also give us zero. And it's really cool um, how it works because you look at this and you're like, this is just a mess. But then you can kind of like do some cool footwork and it, it'll, it'll get a lot simpler. So let's get into it. The first um, set of information that we're given is that sigma 1 equals sigma 2. And so the 1 and the 2 for both our, um, our W and our sigma um, stand for asset 1 and asset 2, like if you're investing in just two things in the portfolio. Um, so uh, sigma 1 equaling sigma 2 will mean uh, the risks of both assets are the same. And then W1 will also equal W2. Uh, this might be denoted by like a Greek letter that I'm not sure how to pronounce, but I, I think it is a W because it stands for weight, like um, I believe. So both your assets will be weighted the same. And since W equals one, um, like W1 plus W2 equals one, it will, if they're the same, be 0.5. So they're invested equally. And then we'll also know that R is negative one. And so what are we gonna do with this formula first? Well, the first thing we can do is since we know that um, sigma one equals sigma two and W one equals W two, we can replace um, the W ones and the sigma ones or two, so you can replace either one. <laughs> and we can make them all the same. So then we can start combining them. So what we're gonna do is go, uh, let's replace the ones. So everything is gonna be in twos. And then the square root, that's different, of course. So we'll go W2, so I'm replacing this first. Squared um, to the sigma two squared plus w2 squared to the sigma 2 squared. And you can probably already see where this is going. Now you can combine these and it could just be 2 w2 squared sigma 2 squared. Uh, let's do this over here too. Awesome. And now we can just um, add these two together. And we can also combine these two. And this is what we'll get. <laughs> this could literally just be one plus one because it's the exact same thing. So we'll just put a two in front and then W two squared sigma two squared plus, um, oh, not to forget this. This was the original formula we're given down here. Um, and there's no R, like last class we learned about it where there was no R, but sometimes when we are given an R, it'll go right here. So we also are gonna plug in negative one for that because we're given that it's negative one. So it's gonna turn um, this whole thing right here negative. So uh, instead of plus, it's gonna be this R it's going to be minus 2w2w2, two two w two. and then we can combine this, so it's just sigma 2 squared. Sometimes there's an R, sometimes there isn't. If there's not, you can just ignore it, but if there is, just plug it in. All right, um, now from here, all we're going to have to do is subtract these, which uh, since these are exactly the same, we're going to get zero, and this will equal zero. So there you go. 
that's how this giant equation reduces down to zero if we have um, these inputs. And so what does this actually look like with numbers? Well, we'll do an example. So for example, we said that since um, the equation for W2 is one minus W1, uh, the combination of them is gonna equal one. So since they're even, they'll have to be 0.5. And uh, we still have r equals negative 1, that's good. And then we've been told that sigma 1 and sigma 2 both equal 5. Just a random. And so, let's plug that into here. I'm going to use pink for this one. So we're going to go equals... And... Um, you could, as we said before, imagine these as like one or two since they're equal. So you could kind of just plug it in real fast. Um, all right, awesome. And so if you put this in your calculator in the correct order, um, it will be 0.25 times 25 boom, boom, plus another 0.25 times 25 plus negative 0.5 and then 5 squared, 25. And what this ends up giving us is 12.5 plus, and then this is negative because our negative one being r, plus negative 12.5. Uh, we can really just erase this because you're just adding a negative. So it'll be 12.5 minus 12.5, and this will equal zero like our last one. So that's how it looks with numbers. Um, yeah, this is what we learned in class today. I had fun with it, and I hope this was helpful for you too.